Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins. These are the top five lessons learned from my passing my AZ700 Azure Network Engineer Associate beta exam. So I sat for the beta exam August 16th, 2021. I received a notification on October the 7th, which was Thursday, that I passed. And I wanted to share this with you. So if you are interested in sitting for the uh, network engineer exam, this will help you out. So number one, this is the hardest Azure associate exam that I've ever taken. I've sat for the AZ-104, which is Azure Administrator, and AI-100, which is the Azure Artificial Intelligence Engineer, which is now um, been 102. This was way harder. So, you know, I want you to take that into consideration. Number two is you better have your networking basics. So I sat for, I took a cloud skills exam prep course this past July. And the teacher, Tim Warner, said that if you don't really know networking, he recommends you review Network Plus. I co-signed that. You really, really have to know networking. As I mentioned, with Azure, there's three levels. So there's the fundamental level, the associate level, and then the expert level. Even though this is an associate level, as I mentioned in number one, this is one of the hardest exams. I feel that you should... Uh, review network plus two before sitting for this if you're weak in any areas i have a whiz lab subscription so uh, they do have like the network plus course as well as practice exams that you can check out and there's plenty others they they have stuff on youtube also as well as comptia which administers which creates the network plus certification exam Number three, what I would recommend is to take AZ-104 and AZ-500 first. So AZ-104 is the Azure Administrator Associate. AZ-500 is the Azure Secretary, um, Security Technologies. I actually was studying for AZ-500 when I heard about the beta exam. So I dropped it, but high, and I passed it. But hindsight being 2020, I would have taken the AZ-500. 500 first why am i saying that because with 104 as an administrator you have like this higher like level thinking and when you're a network engineer you have to somewhat employ that when you're a cloud network engineer you have to take like the survey of everything you also have to know all the different products um, as an administrator you're going to know a lot of the azure services and solutions uh, with this AZ-700, you have to know all of the networking solutions. With AZ-500, it talks about security. With AZ-700, you're doing network security. So you would know the different type of security protocols and procedures within Azure. The combination of both of those would really help you for AZ-700. And another side note, uh, when I was studying for this beta exam, I also took some AZ-303 practice exams. Um, there is a significant overlap between AZ-104 and AZ-303, but I would recommend at least those two uh, certifications first, AZ-104 and AZ-500. Number four is know your Azure networking. And I'll give you a tip on this because this threw me a little bit. There are four types of load balancers. You have the Azure load balancer, which is at the network. Then you have the app gateway, traffic manager, and front door. You will be asked questions about that. Know that and also know virtual WAN. Um, uh, know all about like network security group, application security group, virtual networks, virtual machine, uh, what else? virtual um, site to site, point to site, know all of that because you really, really have to have a thorough understanding of those. And then number five is to have a plan after you pass. That helps you mentally uh, because then you're thinking, okay, what will I be doing after I pass AZ-700 
Azure Network Engineer. This really works for anything. It can be certification, edu degree, anything. Um, for me, I wanted to have more experience. Um, be I wanted to actually be a certified cloud engineer. I like like networking, architecture, providing solutions to help people and help companies with cloud adoption. Um, I also have an e econ degree and worked as an economist. So when you look at cloud economics, total cost of ownership, how to streamline your cost to get cost minimization and profit maximization and things like that. I also wanted to learn more and improve my data architect skills. So that was my plan going into it, of passing it. And having a plan after you pass would help you actually pass your exam too. So do a recap of the five. Number one, AZ700 is one of the hardest Azure in associate exams. Number two, know your networking basics. If you don't, I recommend doing the network plus, you know, review. As I mentioned, I use some WizLab. I have a WizLab subscription, but also you have YouTube and other places, CompTIA. Uh, number three is take the AZ-104 and AZ-500 first. Number four, know your Azure networking. I mentioned the four different types of load balancers. And then number five, have a post-certification plan. It helps you mentally um, envision yourself passing, but two, it will help you professionally. So that's all for this video. If you need help managing your cloud networking, your infrastructure, get in touch with me at carlrjenkins.com forward slash contact. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.